So you want to be a UX designer, but you don't know where to start. Well, it's actually not that hard. Come on, let me show you. Hi, I'm Liz. I understand how overwhelming it can become when you're starting out in UX with no experience and no degree. I hope that this video will help you think of some ideas to start in this UX design field. So grab a drink and let's begin. Number one, draw inspiration. So let me show you. One of the websites that are useful is Dribbble. This is a website that I always go to and you can just filter by product design or web design. Another good site is called Behinds. So on the go, create the fields, filter by UI, UX. So draw inspiration from work that you find interesting. Observe how these amazing designs are done. Another really useful site is called Mobin. You can filter by apps and patents. So as a designer, you gotta know the common design patterns used in UX. This pattern library on Mobins allows you to do that. So elements like bar container, you know, buttons, floating, action buttons, these are all terms that as a designer you should know. Another site that I would like to recommend is Ninja. This is a brilliant design inspiration site for marketing sites, landing pages, and you can also filter by different categories. Another site that I like to go to is called screenland.com. This is amazing if you are working on marketing sites. One more that I would like to share is called reallygoodux.io. So this site, what it does is sharing all the good products filtered by category as well as they even help you analyze what makes this really good UX. Don't just brown mindlessly. Try to understand what makes the UX a good product. Open your digital notes grab a pen and paper or any place that you take notes drop down what makes these apps amazing what are the ux practices that they did differently another practical idea for you to get started in ux is to learn a design tool my go-to design tool for this is figma so this is figma it's actually a collaborative design tool they have multiple features for design including prototyping design systems and plugins. It's used by companies like Slack, Twitter, GitHub. So on Figma, play with the interactions, play with the prototyping. This is my favorite tool on earth if I were only to pick one software to install on my Mac. Number three, watch YouTube tutorials like this. So go on YouTube, search for UX design, and you will see loads of content here that are free for you to watch. So yeah, just make use of the free content that you could find. Understand how other people present their ideas, how people get through interviews, what is the process like in their day to day. A place on YouTube that I really recommend is awards i highly recommend awards because they offer high quality talks by great design leaders in the industry step number four create a mock project one of the great ways you could get started with challenges is by going to a site called ux2.co you can find all of the ux challenges that you can train yourself practice with real world exercises for example if you would like to understand how to do a usability test they will give you a scenario to start with, with tasks, tutorials, and tools. Another great place that I would like to share with you is called UX Challenge. So UX Challenge gives you prompts, for example, e-commerce. You could actually create a design case study for your portfolio based on the problem statement that they present you. All right, tip number five, check out job bots. Find out what companies around your place are looking for in a UX designer. And one way to find out is search for UX design jobs. See what they're looking for. This helps you get an edge of what's happening in the industry, what are people looking for, and how you can actually stand up. Don't worry if the qualifications of these jobs say that you need at least seven years of UI design experience. For example, when I started, I had no experience, but I still applied to these jobs. It's definitely important to apply even if you don't meet all of the qualifications. All right, tip number six. So one thing that you can start preparing for is your portfolio and your CV. 
What I recommend is go to bestportfolios.com. Strategize and think your way backwards. There are a lot of these amazing designer resumes and portfolios that you could check out. So study how people do their portfolios, how it's being structured, what kind of copy that they include in the portfolio that stood out amongst other people in the industry. Don't worry if your version isn't perfect yet. So for your portfolio, I recommend using Notion. This is my Notion portfolio where I actually still am experimenting with multiple different platforms. And I find this is by far the fastest to build my portfolio. Tip number seven, optimize your LinkedIn. Let me show you how I use LinkedIn to optimize my profile. Change your headline and say UX designer. Another way that you could actually optimize your profile is to say open to work. Once you optimize your profile saying that you're open to work, it will actually help recruiters find you on LinkedIn. When you're on your LinkedIn profile and you change your profile picture, switch it to open to work. Another thing that you could do is share your design, your learnings on your journey to becoming a UX designer. Search for something like UX design hashtag. You can learn how other people are sharing their knowledge on LinkedIn via this hashtag. So yeah, this is one way that you could provide value, stand out from the competition and share your learnings. Make friends along the way. So the next tip is to get a mentor. Go on ADP list, find the mentors on the site. You can even filter by expertise and design that you want to learn more of. Say UX design, so prepare your mock project, your resume, your portfolio, or whatever that you have right now. Book the mentor session, identify what you can improve on, go back, improve it, and come back again. Another tip that I'll give you is go on Skillshare. Skillshare. What you can do is just browse for UX design and here you can see all of the amazing tutorials that people have already prepared. So next tip is to read. Read free articles online, let's say Nelson Norman. Find anything that interests you. Understand what makes a good user experience. One more site that I would like to share is called lawsofux.com. You don't need to go and memorize all these terms one by one, but more of just go through the overview and the takeaways of these laws. Understand what these laws actually mean and how it can help you design better. Another way that you can try is Google, about Google UX books. And these are the popular books in the market that can actually help you design better. One of the other tips that I would like to recommend is to work on a real project. I understand that when you're starting out, you don't have a client to give real projects yet, but maybe you can reach out to a friend, reach out to a local charity to offer and design their website for them. So the last tip I would like to give out is to set realistic goals and deadlines. Try to commit to a three to six month deadline of achieving your goal. I hope this video helped you in any way. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Thanks for watching guys.